Cheer everyone, let's get right to it. Another interesting video. We're gonna look at time to kill for SMGs, all right, with evidence to it. We actually had a video that went over the time to kills for all the uh, rapid fire weapons, including SMG and assault rifles. And that video was based on information either Big Box released to us or Data Mind. However, uh, that's all theory, right? And when you get into the game, you include lag, you include, you know, just actually using the gun. Like it's it's a little it's going to be a little different, and we're going to see if there it is a little different. And spoiler alert, it is. <laughs> Let's get to it. And we're going to do first look at the time to kill. We are first going to look at the time to kill for the SMG as we see on this screen. Then we're going to do comparisons with the theory-based values we had before, and then we'll also compare to the close range. And of course, I'll show you the video clips of what it looks like, you know, of when you actually see the time to kill of these weapons, all right? So, so let's get to it. Looking at this table, we have four weapons. We're just doing SMGs for now. It just muddies the water getting the assault rifles involved. And so we are going to start with the UMP, okay? The UMP has the slowest time to kill on this chart of 1.38 seconds at the top left with body shots, okay? Then when you are shooting with headshots, you get a 1.14 second time to kill, assuming you hit all headshots, okay? And that's, that's not easy with any gun unless you're point blank, but let's be real, with these kind of weapons, you're usually mid-range, right? Uh, and so 1.14 seconds is not bad, uh, but 1.38 is really, really bad, okay? So the UMP has the worst time to kill of the SMGs. Now looking at the P90, uh, you see that you have a time to kill of 1.15 seconds for the body, which is the second best on this chart for the body. Uh, and when you hit all headshots, which is probably not really feasible with the P90, because let's be real, the aim is really hard to do with the recoil on the P90 nowadays, with the recoil being random after the first two to three counts. And so you're looking at 0 0.96 time to kill if you get the headshots, though. Uh, and so that is the fastest on this entire table, uh, tied with the MP5, which is very interesting. And then when you look at the MP5, you get a 1.21 time to kill for the body, uh, which is actually slower than the P90, but no shock to anyone, it's better than the UMP, okay? Uh, and then when you hit all headshots with the MP5, which is actually easier to do since you have a wonderful scope, uh, then you're going to get the fastest time to kill here with 0 0.96, okay? Then last, of course, looking at the Uzi, you get a 0 0.9 second, a near point nine, 0 0.97. Okay, so when you look at the Uzis, you get a 0 0.97 time to kill, uh, which is essentially the fastest on this chart, but that assumes you don't miss a shot. And let's be real, it's pretty easy to miss one or two bullets here or there with the Uzis, right? But this is like, you know, perfect case scenario. You just, you hit all your shots, this is what you'll get, okay? And so it's really good to know this when you go into battle. So just a couple things looking at this chart that are interesting. Yes, the UMP is horrible. If you're able to hit headshots, it <laughs> kind of puts it on par with the P90 and the MP5, but let's be real, since it doesn't have a sight or scope, it's really hard to hit the headshots, all headshots, uh, which is really what you need to equivalent uh, the other two guns. Uh, and so yes, it's easier to aim, uh, but having said that, compared to pre-patch uh, months ago now, uh, it now has a recoil pattern, so it actually got a nerf to the recoil, if you didn't really notice it, since the last patch. And so I avoid this gun like the plague, okay, personally. And I know a lot of people use it, particularly at like, the lower tiers of some leagues, uh, but it just it just kills too slow. It just, just, just too slow time to kill. You're not going to kill a good player with this thing unless they're just like AFK or something, all right, or they're really low already. Uh, and so you're just not going to output enough damage. You need to output as much damage as possible before that player builds, the good player. Okay, and so the P90, I really like the P90. I knew it would probably have the fastest time to kill just because of the rate of fire and the damage, which we've seen on the uh, other video. And I'll include that in the description. 
Uh, but I didn't think it was going to be that much different from the MP5. It's actually quite different. 0 0.07 seconds is actually pretty substantial. Uh, and so the interesting thing is when you really look at the MP5, the MP5 is really the easiest gun on all of these to get headshots with because of that low recoil when you two-hand and that wonderful scope that allows you to get those headshots. And so if you had to tell me which one of these is the best time to kill, I'd, I'd probably say... Uh, you know, practically the MP5 because you're able to hit the headshots and, you know, it's got a really solid time to kill. Whereas the Uzis, yes, they're great on paper unless you have immaculate aim and you don't miss a shot, it is the best gun, period, right? But that's not really that easy to do uh, depending on the situation. So, you know, Uzis are great. Yes, MP5 is great. P90 is great. They have different uses, right? Of course, the P90 is better at build break than the MP5, and the Uzis are good at build break too, but they go through a crap ton of ammo, and you can't peek with them. So each gun has its own uses and its own applicability. So it's really exciting, this meta we are in, that I can even be able to talk about these kinds of things right now. Because uh, before, pre-patch, let's be real, okay, pick up your op, pick up your Seiko, pick up your DT, pick up your AK, you don't need anything else, right? Now, every gun is situational. Okay, I'm mid-range, I need to peek, and that, you know, I have uh, other guns that, you know, do great, but I need a build break weapon. What am I going to pick up? I'm going to pick up the P90 because I'm going to peek with it. Well, I don't need a peek because I have these other guns, like the Magnum I'm going to peek with. Oh, okay, maybe I'll use Uzis to help me break that build even faster. I just need something with a really good mid-range that I just need to spray you know some with and can also break build well Uzis might be great for that right you have these situational uh, you have these situations now we can use different guns over the other I think that's really exciting this is the first time that this has ever been in this game so let's pat big, bo big box on the back for this because I think that's a really big deal uh, even after adding guns uh, in this patch. This is the data table I had that I expanded off the last time to kill video I did of the close range weapons. And so what we're gonna be able to do here is compare the submachine guns to the close range weapons because that was really my next question from the last video. Okay, so we have the close range time to kills. How do those compare to SMGs, right? Uh, and so let's look at it here. If you look at for example, uh, the pretty much the average time to kill here for the submachine guns, aside from the Uzis, is like a 1.2 is 1.2 seconds essentially. Then when you look at let's uh, I know it depends heavily on the stars for the uh, close range weapons. It clearly doesn't really depend on the stars for these weapons because I was sitting point blank shooting someone. And these guns do not increase rate of fire or damage per shot. It really just inc uh, increases clip size and improves the recoil so you can hit your shots better. Uh, and so uh, these do not change, right? So let's compare, for example, to the golds, the best case scenario. If you have a 1.2 second average here, pretty much from body shots, that is substantially larger than all of these guns, right? 1.2 versus even the slowest 1.09. Well, clearly the close range weapons have a faster time to kill and that's really how it should be, right? And they do more burst than the spray weapons, I'd hope, right? Uh, and so obviously the close range weapons are better for close range. There's no surprise there, but it's really interesting to just really see finally actual values for time to kill in you know, all these different situations versus, uh, time, uh, versus the close range weapons and the uh, SMGs here, right? Now, what's really, I think, cool is that if you have perfect godly aim, you're getting the same time to kill with the MP5 or the P90. A uh, lot less likely to happen with the P90, uh, possible with the MP5. You're actually rivaling the Gold DT up close. Uh, and of course, you know, there's burst and all that kind of stuff that makes the DT better than the MP5, obviously. Uh, but like it's so interesting that even at mid range, if you hit your shots and you know headshots, you know preferably, you really can kill people so quick in this game, right? Uh, you know one of the rules I always say is don't stand in the open for more than two seconds. Well, we actually have evidence here to show you that you can die within a second 
pretty much at every range, <laughs> uh, at least at mid range and close range. We haven't done the long range, right? The longer range weapons yet, right? We haven't done the assault rifles and the sniper rifles yet. Uh, so at mid range and close range, you can die essentially within one to 1.2 seconds. Uh, so like be very, very careful with hit scan these days, which I don't personally agree with. Uh, I, you know, I, I prefer it without hit scan, but it is what it is. You know, it's so easy to die because everyone can aim well these days. You know, you point and shoot and hit your target. So be very careful. Uh, the meta has already changed from everyone charging each other to now slow hardcover on your move. Hardcover, hardcover, hardcover. I'm curious about the variation between the trials I did. I did three trials for the body, for uh, all of these SMGs. And obviously for the Uzis, there was no headshots, but I did headshots, three trials of headshots for each of the SMGs as well. Uh, looking at the variation here, it's really interesting that like it always worked out that two of the trials almost were like the exact same and only one was slightly off, okay? And that's a good thing because that means it's relatively consistent, relatively consistent the way I was doing, okay? So not a whole lot of variation, which is good. Um, so I think that's really cool. We can be pretty confident in these values, okay? That's what that means. Right, so in this table, this is where we're gonna compare the values we got from the actual, you know, me doing it in game versus the theory, okay? The, the values we had that Big Box gave uh, for rate of fire and damage per shot, as well as data mined information uh, that I can't really vouch for. Now we have values to compare to. So you can see the top left is the evidence-based values and then the below is the theory-based for the SMGs. And But I'm gonna make it simpler for you. If you look at the delta body versus theory, this is really the difference from the evidence-based values versus the theory-based values. Looking at the top one, you see the UMP, uh, when I actually did it, I had an increase in time to kill of 0 0.09 seconds. Uh, and that's not a whole lot, but it is an increase versus the theory based. And that's not extremely surprising, right? Uh, you have error in the way I clip it. You know, I can only do it so perfect. There's no such thing as a perfect measure. And then you, for example, you also might have lag, the, you know, the server lag, you know, the, the data has to transfer from this to that, you know, so there is delays. And so this is not extremely surprising. But which one do you actually go with? Well, probably the evidence-based one, right? Because uh, it's a real-world scenario. Uh, so at least in controlled conditions, it's not in an actual firefight. Uh, but now looking at the P90, the change was not very different for the P90. 0 0.03 seconds. Uh, that was probably the smallest, actually, which is kind of interesting. Um, so take it for what it is. Uh, the MP5 had quite a big difference. So if you look at the math for the MP5, the, the, it had 0.11 seconds uh, faster when you had it on pen and paper just with the theory-based values. And, but then when you actually got in game and did it, it was 0.11 seconds fa slower. And that was a little bit surprising to me. Um, so I actually thought to be honest with you, that the MP5 would be a little closer to the P90 in terms of time to kill for the body, and it wasn't. So, interesting. And then when we look at the change when you do all headshots, uh, we have similar kind of things here. The UMP actually uh, you know, has a pretty large uh, change here. It's 0.11 seconds slower from the evidence base, the, you know, the, me doing it in game, uh, versus uh, the P90, the MP5, had only a 0 .06, sec, 0 0.06 second difference. Uh, and so it's quite interesting. So pretty much across the board, what this means is that obviously when you're in game, you have all these, th you know, you have lag server, you know, data is being transferred. Uh, me cutting up makes errors. It, it's probably, you know, what attributes to some of this change here. Uh, but, you know, if you have to go with one of these kinds of values, I think you still go with the evidence base because this is actually what it is in game versus what you see on paper. Right? I really learned a lot from this. I hope you did too. We still have the assault rifles to go through uh, and the, the snipers. And I'm really interested to see how the assault rifles compare to all of the rest of this stuff. And we'll get to that eventually. But otherwise, thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you in game. One. 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 
Oh, my God. 